tonight, 7 on your side investigates California's insurance crisis and see how the state is failing to help. I'm meteorologist Sandy Patel. Damp start for parts of the Bay Area today. We have another opportunity for September showers. I'll show you when coming up. A lot of young people are feeling like not morally correct voting for either candidate right now. Latinos make up more than 10% of San Francisco voters tonight. The effort to get them to the polls in November. Plus, overdoses and optimism signs of progress when it comes to the fight against drugs. Always live. ABC 7 News starts right now. Following the money tonight, 7 on your side investigates what could have been done to help Californians insure their homes. It's very unfortunate, but it's shocking. We don't know what the alternative would be. Why did state lawmakers kill two bills aimed at helping homeowners? Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. 7 on Your Side Investigates is dedicated to bringing you transparency and holding elected officials accountable. One of the most pressing issues facing Californians today, as you may know personally, is the insurance crisis. At least seven of the state's property insurers, like State Farm and Allstate, have either dropped out of California altogether or are only providing limited fire coverage. And as seven on your side, Stephanie Sierra found two bills that aim to reduce insurance costs for consumers just failed in the state legislature. Yes, Stephanie is here now with more on the money trail behind the vote, Stephanie. Yes, Dan and Alma, there's a lot of it. Supporters say these two bills would have paved the way for more transparency and lower costs to Californians who are actually putting in the work to reduce wildfire risks around their home. But both of those bills failed and we found the group of lawmakers who oppose them are getting millions of dollars from the insurance industry. This is where the palm tree 